Hello. Hi, it's Ava. Hey. How are you doing? Hey. Good, how are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's jump right in. So your character, Garner, is truly one of the kind. And I think that he grew up and views the world so differently than the average teenager. What was the most difficult aspect of portraying him? Um... Oh, it was a tricky character. I mean, it was it was it was difficult, but I had a lot of fun kind of tackling him and tackling the difficulties and uh, really kind of experimenting and trying different things out and failing and trying again and finally creating this character who was both kind of uh, it's kind of innocent and pure and like uh, very very raw, but he's also just kind of like this goofball, and um, it was it was fun to to capture that. Opposites, but despite this, they form an incredible bond. Why do you think their dynamic works so well? Well, I think they see you're right, they are very different. Um, and uh, Tulsa's very kind of like edgy and rough, whereas Gardner's like this weird, polished, like gemstone. <laughs> and they're kind of they are almost polar opposites, but at the same time, they see a lot of themselves in each other. They've both kind of been isolated and they're both longing for some sort of companionship and uh, they find each other through that and they're attracted to each other through that. If you could give one piece of advice for Gardner as he adjusts to life on Earth, what would it be? Um, one piece of advice... Um, I don't know. Um, if you're eating Chinese food, go and get a fork because chopsticks are a pain in the ass. That's that's my that's my advice for gardener. <laughs> I think there's a some connection issues. Unless my answer was really that bad. <laughs> We've lost you, Miranda. Uh, oh, you're back? Are you? Are we back? Can you hear me? Yes, I think. Yes. Okay, so my next question can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you now. Okay. So the next question was, the Mars scenes look so realistic. Um, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the process of filming those scenes. Um, it was quite a long process. Uh, we got this, this shuttle, this new shuttle, and we spent six months flying to Mars. And no, I'm joking. <laughs> we were in Albuquerque in the desert, and then they did some clever stuff behind the camera to give it this red kind of glow. Um, it was uh, it was incredibly well done. I don't know how they do it, but uh, yeah, Albuquerque, luckily enough, looks a bit like Mars in that it's uh, kind of a desert. Yeah. And my last question is: Your character loves to ask everyone the same question in this film, so I'd like to ask it to you. What's your favorite thing about Earth? What is my favorite thing about Earth? Um, I really like how varied wildlife is. I mean, I like nature itself. I like, I like all the parts about nature. I just think, well, yeah, I just think animals are really cool and humans are so much more boring compared with them. I mean, like when we're born, like we're so helpless as until we're like 10 years old. Up until that point, we're like the most useless creature on earth. Any other animal, they can pretty much fend for themselves within a year of being born. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It was nice to sort of meet you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. bye. Oh my God. Thank you.